And today we're taking a look at the Holly Benton Thunder 199. Uh, but before we take a look at this, I had to take it out of the box. So you're gonna see me doing just that. I'm tied down. I got my back against the wall. Goodbye. So now that it's out of the box. Out of the cl closet? Out of the box? Uh, what? Are, how is this saying? Well, anyway, it's here. And what is this thing? This is a power amp. Yeah, I know. One of those things that's in these amps. Well, not really. These amps have tubes and all this. This is a little... I don't even know. I'm going to call it transistor. Or is it class D? I don't know. It's a power amp and it says... It's... I can't even believe this. I'm going to look this up again at Tormann. How many watts it has. I think it's ridiculous. It is two times 50 watts. Uh, wait, 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 wait. At four ohms, which means at eight ohms, it's different. And at 16 ohms, it's even more different. -er. I'm not going to quote any wattage or whatever at whatever ohms because I literally don't even know what an ohm is. Sounds like a wizard. The great ohm. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so what's special about this? Well, first of all... <laughs> It's 89 bucks! Secondly, it's pedal size. Thirdly, and that's the most amazing thing, it's le de. It's stereo in and stereo out. It's ridiculous. It has a line in, so you can plug in a mini line in. Uh, show that, Michiel. Michiel's uh, switching for me, by the way. Right there. Uh, and it has a phones out. Don't quite understand why, but you can plug in headphones. Um, so it has a mute, click it, signal's gone, volume, very simple. So we have a couple of questions. A, how does it sound with pedals? And do we need a preamp in front of it? Because it's a very clean kind of a, a neutral power amp. So do drive and effects only work in front of it? Or do we need something preampy? And how does it sound as a power amp? And that's where it gets really interesting for your modeler. But we're going to look at that later. So the first test, a little pedal board that I built for the Harley Benton ISO Stomp 4, I think it's called. Um, it's got a Tumnus on it. It's got a G2 from Rev on it as drives. Then there's a uh, Flashback 2 as a delay and a Collider from Source Audio as a um, reverb and delay. And you have to know that only when I have the Collider on is it stereo because that's the pedal that widens it. The other pedals are mono. Um, or I'm using the mono, let's say this, because a flashback 2 is stereo. And um, you're going to hear some uh, mono sounds, when I, and I panned that in the middle, of course, and you're going to hear some stereo goodness. And I'm running this into two aluminum caps from Scott Dixon, super light, extremely awesome caps from England. Uh, on the left, you're going to hear a 112, on the right, you're going to hear a 212, obviously only 112 mic'd. And, uh, well, that setup will sound like so.
So I asked, do we need a preamp in front of it? I didn't even test that because to me, that sounded pretty damn dope. I don't think you need a preamp in front of it. Can it be improved by that? Yeah, maybe, but screw it because it sounds good. Directly with pedals into this, absolutely fine. So the next test is, how does it sound with a model in front of it? And the Line 6 Helix right there um, goes in here, quarter inch stereo. And uh, here are some sounds of that. So yeah, that works, um, which means, and that's the amazing thing, you can take something like this, HX Stomp, you don't even need the big one, HX Stomp, 89 bucks extra, boink, and all of a sudden you have a full amp that you can actually pump into your real speakers. Make sure you turn the speaker simulation off in this. In the Helix, I saw that there's um, combo amps, and in the combo amp you can turn the speaker off, so... Uh, Kill that combo amp and load the head version of it. That way you'd have no speaker. And this becomes an amp with a power amp. Now, does it sound like a big ass tube amp? No, it does not. But this is a super travelable uh, solution. Now, if this is too expensive, $499, I made a video about the more GE uh, 150, which is 179. It's a little modeler, has loads of stuff inside. 150 bucks plus 89, realistically, a stereo amp rig for on the go for 269? 268? That's ridiculous. So, totally possible. Now, the last question is how good, oh, I gotta get this. How good is it compared to, you know, a name brand? So we got the Power Stage 170 here from Seema Duncan. It's got a three band EQ, which I kept in the middle. Um, it is mono. This is mono, 380 bucks or something. This is stereo, 89. 170 watts, 50 watts times two. So, and this is 174 to 16, so it's probably 170 at four. Uh, what do I know? The almighty ohm. So, I took the Helix, and now you can compare the sounds of the two and see which one is actually better.
Now, if you ask me, I felt in the room that this had a tiny bit, a very, very tiny bit more bottom end. The, the tiniest bit. It might be that the bass was, I don't know, in some... Put it, they are extremely close. And if you're running that kind of setup, this will do. This is nice, but this will do. This has another advantage that we're going to talk about in a sec. So, for your modeler, especially in stereo, and if you have two caps, holy crap, just have this in your gig bag. Have this in your case. Why the fuck not? Now, um... It, it It is a pretty amazing thing. Now, the thing that's great about it is the size. And you can put this on your pedal board, and all of a sudden, you're not really wasting more than one pedal size, and you have a power amp to actually, if your real amp goes down or whatever, go into your speaker and continue playing. It's a safety net as well. That's all great. Let's discuss two things. How good is it compared to a tube amp? To any tube amp? Well, it's not tube, okay? It's not as good as running into a real amp. But it sounds pretty damn dope. And it's stereo. And at the current moment, the cheapest full tube amp that runs stereo is the Bad Cat Cup 50 stereo or whatever. And that runs you two and a half thousand bucks. So... Amazing for the pop rock indie player, whatever, whoever wants the stereo ness. Um, is it gonna sound like a real amp? No, is it sound, sounding good? Yes. Um, the biggest thing I gotta laugh about a little bit is you saw it in the unboxing. I'm talking about how small that is and how convenient to have this on your pedal board. Yes, the pedal is, the power supply is not. This is the power supply for this. And that's the biggest drawback. This AC adapter, the size of a small tank, um, will not fit under your pedal board. It might, but it probably won't. It will have to be next to your pedal board. The thing is, seeing the size of the product and talking about, oh my god, it's so small. No, this is the product. This is the whole thing. Now, if I compare this with this, realistically, the Power Stage 170 is smaller. It has a built-in power supply. I can just plug in power right there. So, is the Thunder 99 smaller than the Power Stage? No, it's not. It actually is a tiny bit bigger. This is pretty damn funny. If you're cool with that and having that outside of your pedal board, having that in your backpack or whatever, this is just kind of clunky, but there's no way around it. Physics, you need to generate the power. Bottom line, 89 bucks, and there's pretty much no reason not to get this. As a backup solution, if you always wanted to play stereo, if you want to just have this on your pedal board, if your amp goes down, if you just want it on your, uh, let's say for a, oh my god, oh my god, for a, um, for a, um, a wet dry wet rig, run your little Marshall and then uh, send out into the effects, and then the effects into this, into two cabs, and you have a wet full tube amp, and then, uh, no, a dry full tube amp, and then wet and wet on the left and right, powered by this. There's no reason not to have one of this for pretty much any guitar player, or your grandma. And it's Christmas, 89 bucks. This is a very good Christmassy Christmas gift. Have I pushed this enough now? Uh, this video has been paid for by Harley Benton, but, I'm cool with that because it's cool. So, um, links below. Please use them. That helps me. Thanks to Michiel for switching. And um, animals at the end. Breathe in, mouth clean.